today I'm gonna tell you guys five easy steps. Five, only five, you can count them on one hand. Only five simple steps to being yourself. <laughs> and I just love my socks, look. They're like transparent and I promise you all I'm not ashy. They're just, that's just the way they are. And they have like a little band right here and they're dollar and then the bottom is like white. And it's so cute! Okay, sorry. I just love them, they're so cute! That's besides the point. Let's get into the video. So the first step to being yourself is to know yourself. Obviously, you can't really be yourself if you don't know who you are. And that's like a whole different thing, like finding yourself, that's a whole nother topic. But basically, if you don't know who you are, then you can't be yourself simple as that like you know what you like you know what kind of style you like all that kind of stuff like just all the aspects of knowing yourself and what you like and what you like to do and all that kind of stuff if you do know who you are then you have the first step done already second step is to be comfortable in your own skin this is so important because if you can't be comfortable in your own skin by yourself then you're not gonna be able to be comfortable around other people you have to be comfortable with yourself before you can let anybody know who you are you know being comfortable with yourself is so important because you you can't if you think about it if you go through your whole life just living in a box and like holding back and not fully uh, growing i guess into the person that you are or getting reaching your full potential to your personality or whatever then that would be a depressing life like you can't just live not being comfortable with yourself your whole life you have to make steps to work towards that if you have that down then you will complete it the second step so number three do not let what others say get to you because let me tell you something people will talk about you your whole life if you let every single person get to you i don't even know like that's ridiculous to think about because honestly if whether you know it or not there are people talking about you like there are people talking about you whether it's good or bad there's people always talking so with that being said if you let the negative get to you then you're gonna end up holding back you're gonna end up being self-conscious and when that happens then you're gonna get less and less closer to being yourself and being comfortable with yourself around other people how i see it everybody i don't like to dwell on what people say about say about me don't get me wrong I do it sometimes I'm not perfect sometimes what people say to me gets to me but I don't always let it get to me because thinking about my head after this life is over we will all go into the ground or we will burn whether you cremated or not but we will all go into the ground and we will all end up dying one of these days nobody and that puts it in perspective that we're all equals there's nobody greater than the other so that person is no better than you talking about you you know that just makes them worse than you because usually people talk for one or two reasons it's either they're jealous of you or they're unhappy with themselves and if they're unhappy with themselves that's kind of their problem if they're just jealous then like you're doing something right you know like you that's where you really know you do not have to let the person get to you that being said i'm leading this to the step four which is you only live once yolo you get one life that's so crazy to think about you get one life and if you go through this your entire life, you know, just not being yourself or doing the things you want to do, you wasted so much time if you're not doing what you want to do and being how you want to be. It's crazy. I feel like Jaden Smith. Like, whoa. But like, that's it, like that's insane to think about. Like, that's why I really be th like trying to just do whatever because. At the end of the day, we all go in the ground and die. We all end up dying one of these days. So it's like, what do you have to lose? Like, you literally have nothing to lose. Like, don't care about what people think about you because at the end of the day, they go in the same place you going. I mean, unless you believe in religion and you believe that person's gonna go somewhere bad. That's what you do with the time you have now, that counts. The last step I'm going to give you guys is to do the things that you want to do. So this is kind of like, peer pressure type of thing honestly though i've never really dealt with peer pressure actually because like my friends don't really be pressuring me to, to do anything bad because i don't have bad influences in my life but well, like if you don't know who you are and you do hang out around people that are not the best influences or people that you they just do stuff that you don't want to do 
then honestly it's as easy as not doing it because you're gonna regret it and you ultimately you're gonna fall deeper and deeper into that hole of not knowing yourself because if you just continue to do things that you don't want to do like you don't enjoy doing then you're never gonna be happy and you're never going to know yourself fully so like basically okay so I don't like sports if I were to for like everybody in my life is like why don't you do this why don't you do that anymore why don't you do sports I hate sports with a passion if I were to do sports that would only be a waste of my time and if I were to just listen to everybody telling me that like, I need to do sports I need to do this I need to do that like for one I don't have to do anything <laughs> for two I hate sports so like the, it's not your time it's my time if I were to listen to that then I would eventually be wasting my time and I probably would end up like not knowing where I belong because I don't I'm not a sporty person at all I'm not competitive whatsoever so it's like if you just do what everybody else is doing all the time you're not gonna have your eventually you're just gonna be losing your own mind because you're not gonna have a say in what it, what you do basically like you're gonna let you let people dictate you and control what you do so yeah that's all I have to being yourself if this, I'm sorry if this kind of came off like you did to do this don't do that don't like I'm sorry if it came off like that I did not really mean to for it to come off like that I feel like it did kind of come off like that but like I don't know I just it just I can't stress it enough like it hurts me to see that people that they don't know who they are like they don't know themselves that sucks because it's like you're well, you're going through every, your everyday life not really knowing what you who you identify with and like what you like what you like to do and stuff like that like that sucks a break really bad so that's why I just feel like making this video because I, love, I feel like there's a lot of people in the world that don't know who they are and so I hope this helped in the end just you just have to remember that we all end up dying so like it, it's it doesn't matter and like if people don't like you for you if you literally have nobody in your life that likes you for you or doesn't accept you then drop that person They'll, all those people and that negativity because life is too short like i'd rather be by myself and happy than be around people that are constantly putting me down as simple as that i'm sorry <laughs> i'm rambling in conclusion just live life to the fullest don't spend your whole life just living in a box please just be yourself wear what you want to wear do what you want to do talk how you want to talk read what you want to read do what you want to do because nobody is you and you are not anybody else so be unique and be amazing hope you guys took something from this video once again just know that you are good enough if you ever feel like your real self is not good enough, then you're wrong because everybody's good enough. Everybody deserves happiness and everybody deserves love. Thanks so. for watching. Make sure to subscribe. If you like, I don't mean I'm not about to force you to subscribe, but like if you want to <laughs> and like and comment and share and I will see you guys next time. Bye.